Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we were uh, trying to get HK-47 here and trying to do it as cheaply as possible. But it seems the only method to do it as cheaply as possible is just essentially threaten the shopkeeper. That's not necessarily something I want to do. So I'm just going to double check. I have enough credits. Doesn't mean I want to use 4,000 of them to bring on a party member. But I guess in the long run it might work out. So that might be a good idea. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Let me ask a few questions. Don't seem to know much about it. There we go. Stock price. It started too high last time. Let's go with 4,000 credits. That's fair. I'll pay it. You will. I mean, of course you will. Let me just withdraw those credits. Hey, you weren't lying. Well, thank you very much. Just go on over and talk to it. I'll deactivate the restraining bolts when you take possession. It's a good purchase, especially if it actually speaks a sand people die, like, like it says. Of course, I don't think it was telling me everything. Not many droids are programmed to lie, though. That's good? If they were programmed to lie, that would be not great at all, really. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, thank you. Most definitely. Alrighty. Statement. I see you have purchased me, Master. I find this a satisfactory arrangement. I'm sure you do. My restraining bolt will be deactivated when you take possession of me. Am I to accompany you now? Shall I kill something for you? Kill something for me? Answer. Indeed. I am most eager to engage in some unadulterated violence. At your command, of course, Master. Hmm. Travel with me now. Statement. I will enter into your service now, Master. I am certain you will make adequate use of my primary functions. My gears are practically quivering with anticipation. Are they? Now, that's weird. All right, well, let's swap out mission for now. And uh, let's take a look at your... Uh... Oh. Okay, then. Almost as dark as Candor is. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, level up. Let's see. Point, uh, point spread is not great. Repair would probably be useful for you. Because you are a robot. So you kind of need repair. Droid upgrade class two. Okay. Attributes. Should probably put that into dexterity. Um. Wow. You do not get enough points per level up. I swear, you do not. Okay. Slightly better, I guess. Uh not great. Feats. Uh, you have dueling or two weapon fighting. I guess two weapon fighting would be useful. Yeah, it'd be very useful actually. Um, hmm. I don't know. Yeah, that that that'd be good. And that's all the level ups you can get. Okay. Well. Unfortunate. Oh, look, it goes up to level nine. All right. Let's see what I can equip on him. Droid medium plating type one. Energy shield level two. Yeah, we can give him that. That. Heavy blasters, Sith assassin pistol, 
I could give him the Sith Assassin pistol on the other. Or I could do Disruptor. Too powerful a weapon to be owned by civilians. Understandable. I guess it would probably be a good idea to... Hmm. Droid motion sensors. Computer probe. I don't have anything that can go there. Well, I mean... It makes them semi-worthwhile. All right. Sure. Okay. Although I might... I might just stick with mission, honestly. Because <laughs> she has the most wide variety of skills that I can use. And HK-47 just doesn't have that. So I might just switch back. Be perfectly honest. There we go. Perfection. All right. Now I guess I can head out the door. Did I do everything here? I have a feeling I didn't do that for some reason. No, I might have. I might have actually done that. I think the only thing I haven't done is a. Uh, the swoop racing thing. But, uh, like I said, I could do that off camera. You there, of your kind, can you help Easy's of Jawa? <laughs> wow, he says that way too fast. There are troubles from the ghosts among the sands. Could you be clear? I'm having trouble understanding you. The trouble is yours, not of Jawa. You must use a language of trade because you listen complicated to what we say simply. Okay. Um, why wouldn't I understand your true language? That is not a problem for Jawa to have for you. You have the ears that do not listen. What do you want, then? Easy as I am. Leader of the local tribe that is mine. You are insane in kind. A leader that stands before your tribe? Ah, uh, there are troubles that we have. Giants made of sand. They are horned ghosts that take us away. Horned ghosts that take you away? Sand people? That is how you know them. Giants are different for us. Us being smaller. People of sand are who I mean. So, what do you want me to do? There have been no help given by asking the great group that digs your machines. Now he says, ask you. I ask that you find us, then bring it away. Bring away from the people of sand. Then we offer a trade with you. Yeah, they are a little difficult to understand, and talk. Long have we scavenged among you and those that came before. We have things you will like for the service. Alright. Tell me about those that came before. You stand on Anchorhead, a place named and named again. You come to dig, but was already dug. Okay. Settled over and over. Also long ago. Ships fell after battles above. Now we scavenge to find the pieces. It could be that this Jawa knows things about this planet's history that the Republic has no inkling of. That's what I'm getting. You dig the ore and dirt. In time from now, we will dig you, just like digging those that came before. Okay. Alright. I think I get it. I think... A few more ca uh, a few more questions, all right? Is this answer is hoping you will free the tribe from that that he that he holds? Okay. Fair enough. That, that's a weird phrasing. Um, why have they taken your people? We find things and we use them. Jawa slave serving. They lead with the whip and gaffy. So these Jawas are scavengers who were enslaved by the Sand People. I think I am beginning to understand his plot. Yeah, that sucks. With the group that digs, we trade and are free. With the people of the sand, we serve and die. We prefer you. I'm sure you do. A few more questions. Uh, tell me about where your people are. Maybe I'll help. People of the sand, in the sand. There's a place in the far south where they live. The approach holds great fighting. Bring the tribe from in and to out, and there will be payment and trade. Thanks. 
Fair enough. I'll check it out when I leave the city. Goodbye. He says, hope you have the luck you need. All right. Gabe Gart Billen. No one leaves Anchorhead without proper authorization. Which I have. Well, let's see it. Come on. Here's the hunting license. All right. I'll just scan that and you're off. I'll keep it on file, too. Good luck Good. out there. You'll need it. Um, thanks. All right. Um, hi there. Marlena Venn. Hello there. You're heading out into the desert? You're a hunter, right? Kinda. You must be if you've been allowed to leave Anchorhead. Yeah. When you see Tannis, and I know you old boys always stick together, tell him his wife I'm hopes not he enjoys old. the anniversary gift. Oh. What do you mean by old, you old boys? You're just another of his buddies from that hunting club. I know you're kind. You all cover for each other, I bet. Well, he can do I don't he even wants. know him. He'll get what he deserves. I bought my own license just so I could see that he did. You sound like you're planning to kill him. Oh, I'm through planning. I just left him a little mess that he has to take care of. Oh, so you did it. If he's smart, he'll be just fine. But he's not smart. What are you talking about, anniversary gift? Just a little something to remember me by. Something that symbolizes our years together. Something that will blow up in his face. Of course, he'll never understand how appropriate it is. He can't talk his way out of this one. He's not smart enough. I see. What if he has a message for you? Oh, I'll be long gone soon enough. The next shuttle to anywhere, really. I've had it with cleaning up his messes, repairing his droids. If he lives, uh... he can try and get by on his own. I doubt he'll last long with no one to listen to his lies. So all of his griping about his wife was really, really covering his own bullshit. Because <laughs> he was treating her not that great. I see. All right. Uh, I have to go. I'm sure you do. Like I said, when you see him, tell him his wife Marlena says hello. Will do. Bye, Marlena. Huh. I'm assuming that's him over there. Because it's a bunch of droids, and they look like they're surrounding him. Don't know what he's doing with his arm there. He's kind of exercising it, I guess. I don't know. Oh, he's trying to get someone's attention. That's what it was. Anyone out there? Could you help? I seem to be, uh, doomed. Yeah. <laughs> you do. From the sound of it, that's, uh, entirely how she meant it. Uh, hey. Hey there. Thanks for stopping. I appreciate it. I've been stuck without water for hours. Uh -huh. Wasn't looking good. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's you. I remember you at Foz's place. Could I get you to help out a fellow hunter? Please. Right. You're the asshole who hunts with battle droids. I don't feel especially like helping you. What happened, though? Well, uh, it would appear that I've worn out my welcome with my wife, Marlene. Yeah, she kind of she she told me droids. that. She fixed <laughs> Fixed them good this time. Uh -huh. This should be interesting. I triggered some sort of trap she programmed. She probably figured I wouldn't be smart enough to get out. Yeah, she was right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she was. So you sit back and let your droids do the hunting. You know, now really isn't the time for a lecture. I think it's perfect time for a lecture. I might be more receptive after I'm rescued. Aha. Uh -huh. It just doesn't seem very sporting. Look, friend, some may talk about honor in the hunt, but they still sell their trophies. But they still do it honorably. Because that's the point. What do you want me to do? The wife put a kink in my battle droids. They're in some sort of discharge loop. And if I move from this spot, they're threatening to blow up. Ah. She knew I wouldn't know how to fix them. If you try to do some repairs, they don't care if you move. It's just me who's stuck. I see. I say leave him. You're pretty heartless for such a pretty lady, you know. I take it back. 
effort to congratulate his wife. I'd, uh, really appreciate a bit of help, please? <laughs> I kind of want to side with Bastila on this one. Uh... I'll help, but I want something in return. Uh, what do you have in mind? You'll have to give up hunting with droids. Hey, wait for a moment. I need these rigs. I'm no marksman. No way I can agree to that. No way. Um, Force Persuade doesn't seem like it's the, uh... <laughs> I mean, it seems like the easiest way to do this, but I'm not going to do that. Look around. You don't have much choice. Well, when you put it like that... <clears throat> Very well, then. If it'll get you to help me, yeah. just access each droid's repair interface. You'll have to do some tinkering, but be careful. One explosion, I can survive. Any more than one, and I'm dead. Oh, and Fair uh, enough. ignore the message Marlena left in there. No way do I deserve this, I swear. Right, that's what they all say. Uh-huh. Okay, let's look at you. Group integrity threatened. Slime ball must die, subscribe. All right, a special a special message from Marlena. Having fun on the dunes, Tannis? I made sure you would. Here's the deal. Your precious droids have trapped you. They'll hold you until you die of thirst. Make a mistake while repairing them, they explode. Have a good death. My mother was right about you. Damn. Damn. Okay. Access system repair eh, status and repair functions. I could use repair parts to make it easy, or I could go into the diagnostic mode. Target acquisition failure. Okay. 4, 14, 11, 14, 31, 14, 13, 21, 14. Descriptive number progression corrupted. To recalibrate, determine the correct progression by describing the previous entry. Um, the previous entry. They all now seem to end in 14. So it makes sense that this might be the thing here. But I'm not sure. The difference seems to be just one digit. I want to say it's this one. Reconfiguring memory nodes, applying changes, analyzing. Disabled. Okay. Ooh. Oh boy, that was close. Okay. Done. And it's working right. Good. Let's go to A. Is the message different? Nope. Okay. Let's look at it. Energy governor out of alignment. Enter diagnostic mode. Oh, I see. It's one of those. One of those uh, who's on first problems. Node 1 reports node 2 failed. Node 2 reports node 3 failed. Node 3 reports node 2 failed. Two of the above are definitely false. Node Huh. Which one is reporting accurately?
Okay, yeah, this is definitely a who's on first situation. Uh, boy. I should have had coffee before I did this. My brain's not uh, going fast enough <laughs> to really keep up with this. Um... The only one that can be correct. Can I can I go back? Can I exit? Okay, I can't exit without blowing it up. Good. I, I'll let's move on to the other ones. Okay. Uh, weapon heat displacement error. Okay. Data missing from prime values. Listing two, three, five, eleven, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. Which value is missing from the list? Seven. It's a prime number. Okay. That was pretty easy. The other one's a logic problem, and my brain ain't gonna work on that. All right. Primary motivators offline. Okay. Power cell drain must not exceed total. Different motivators measure the same total energy pool as either 300 small or 180 large. Okay. So. Large ones are. Hmm. Okay. Upper motivator has used 100 small pulses. That means the total for small is 200. How many large pulses are left? Okay. So large is about two thirds. It's just slightly lower than two thirds of small. Hmm. Shit. <laughs> So for every large pulse, there's three small, I think. Am I doing that math wrong? I'm probably doing that math wrong. Um, yeah, I have no doubt in my mind I'm doing that math wrong. Huh. I want to say it's 120. 135 seems way off. And then 110 seems too low. 140 seems too high. So I want to go with 120. Okay, awesome. Awesome. So now it's just the last one. Which... Hmm. Which one could be the one reporting accurately? I mean, I could just repair it with repair parts because I don't want to look up the answer and cheatsy doodle that way and who would be on first <laughs> who's on first I don't know um He would ex survive one explosion if I get it wrong, right? <laughs> uh, I 
One says two, two says three, three says two, but only one of them is right. Well, if we assume that three is the one that failed, it would say one the one that's right is wrong. And if the other one failed, then it would also be pointing at two. So two has to be the one that would be reporting accurately. Oh! <laughs> I just had to talk it out. Just had to talk it out. Okay, cool. All right. Good. Okay, Tannis. That was unpleasant. You're welcome. Thanks for your help. I'd have been a goner. Hey, and the old bat thought I was dead. <laughs> you, you almost you were. You wanted me to give up my trade? Well, consider it done. Maybe I can rent my droids for security or something. There you go. That will be fine. Good luck. Thanks again. I doubt any of those uptight hunters would have helped, and I doubt the wife is coming Oh, back. you're right. I'm heading back to the shop. I hope she left the manuals for these things behind. Ungrateful little... Ungrateful? You were being an asshole. If anything, you deserved it. <sighs> well, at least I got experience for it. Huh. Oh. Small group of sand people ambush you. Oh, joy. That's because I decided to go near the scrap piles here, huh? Yeah, that's probably exactly it. Uh, I'll go after the elite warrior. Alright. Oh, jeez. They're just blowing through my health here. Whoa. And I'm just blowing through theirs. Holy shit. Yes. Cheer us too. Thank you. Yeah. What? Just so the force point usage is not all on me. Bantha fodder, sand people clothing, and advanced med pack. Alright. And I can't even loot anything from these. Oh. Can't from them. Parts and credits, okay. Huh. Well, this seems like it's broken. Seems like it's very... Oh, yeah, it's very broken. It's very broken. Let's, let's help these guys, huh? Mining team captain. Who are you? Ah, it doesn't matter. Can you handle a blaster? It may attack again at any second. I doubt we could hold out on our own against another wave of them. That's an interesting accent choice. Uh, I would assume this was done by the Sam people. You would be right. Came out of nowhere. Wait, damn it. Here they come again. How did they do that? Ah, uh, this is kind of their area. So, of course, it makes sense that they would do that. All right. He kind of stood there waiting for me to attack him. That's weird. And here are more of them. Alright. You know what? Let's, uh... Whoop. Not that. There. Um. I can't focus on any of the rest of them. That sucks. Oh. Well, that worked on the other guy. Alright. Ow. Alright. More of them. Already. Yeesh. Okay. Okay. Honestly, I should have them pausing more often. Um, let's do power blast and then attack, obviously. And then uh, I'll work on force whirlwind and 
that. Well, I am liking that it's causing people around it to uh, be flung away. There we go. No lootable anything? Oh, that sucks. There you go. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. I don't think we'll try holding this position for much longer. We're not soldiers. Fair enough. Did the company send you? It's about time they drove these animals out. I mean, I've agreed to try and stop the sand people attacks. It doesn't mean I'm going to be killing all of them. Well, you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Do you know about that enclave in the south? Don't even try to go near it. They've taken all the Zerka weapons that were supposed to protect our sand crawlers. Oh. That place is a fortress, a death trap. Oh. You'll have to find some way to sneak into the place. That is not my job. Fair enough. Do you know anything about them? Just that they attack everything on sight. Well, I suppose they don't attack each other, but any outsider is as good as dead. Mm -hmm. The company tried to arm us and even set up remote self-powered turrets on the mining route, but, but that just made things worse. We're not soldiers. They still kill us and then take our weapons off our corpses. They even had the Jawas disable the turrets and set them around their enclave. It's like a fortress now. I don't know how you're going to break through all of that. Me, I'd sneak in. But what actually? I'd just get back to Anchorhead. Fair enough. Well, I mean, understandable. And uh, if that's the case, well then... That's an idea. I'll have to do that. Presumably with those sand people outfits I'm stealing. Uh, the sand people are using turrets? They use whatever they scavenge. They seem to hate our technology, but they love to turn it against us. That goes for blasters and turrets, too, I guess. It's not like you need to be a genius to operate them. They probably don't even bother with special settings. They just watch for people approaching and switch them on. Yeah, that's pretty... Pretty easy to use. Uh, I have other questions about the desert. I don't have time for this sort of thing. I'm through with the desert. You can take your sand people, crate dragons, and crazy hunters. Fair enough. I have to go then. Yeah, so do we. There's no way we're appearing this thing while getting attacked over and over. The desert can have it. Ah, the Jawas will salvage it eventually anyway. Then we can buy it back and start over. <laughs> Makes sense to me. There you go. Plan. Alright. Awesome. Take that. And, uh, if you recognize the design of these... not exactly the same but they do use a variation of this in A New Hope and uh, I think some of the uh... I, I, don't, I don't think we saw it in the, in the uh, prequels when we were on Tatooine I don't think we saw these I don't think you even saw any Jawas in the prequels hmm oh well Anyway, well, we'll keep exploring around the desert for now, but for right now, we're going to end the episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... Oh, almost forgot... Shout out to SVS on YouTube for supporting this channel on Patreon. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. But this has been the one the only stray cat playing games and trying to get a little further ahead on Tatooine. Uh, we've been running into mainly a lot of angry sand people, but that's kind of what we expected when we got on to the Dune Sea and uh, helped that hunter who was cheatsy doodling with battle droids when it came to hunting and uh, made him stop it after we saved his ass for you.